Kindergarten is such an exciting milestone for a family. At the same time, we know families can experience some nerves about this big change. Maybe you're wondering, is my child ready for kindergarten? We're here to help. To support the love of reading and rhyming, families can read with their child every single night. The more that you read, the more books they see, the more they participate in reading, the better they're going to do when it comes to reading. A good way to practice rhyming is to use nursery rhymes, ones you might have learned as a child yourself. Probably one of their favorites is Humpty Dumpty. When kindergartners start, I mean, it is a full day. It is a long day. So some things you can do at home are to get them to bed at the same time, follow those routines, having a healthy breakfast so that they're able to sustain throughout the day. One of the things I've heard that parents do too is if your child is still napping, just to slowly start getting rid of that nap time so that they're able to do a full day. They could spend the day at grandma's house so they're away from mom and dad all day. You are accustomed to being away from home all day, in a different situation all day, and that can all be very helpful. I get one point. So you wanted me to win? Yeah, because, I, because they know I waste it. We talk about at school, being kind means you're listening to your friends, you're sharing what you want to say, and you're also listening to what they have to say. At home, families can really work on what kindness looks like and sounds like, what self-control is. Talking with your child, talking about what can you do if you see someone who maybe doesn't have a friend and how would you go about helping them? Go up and ask them if they want to play or and take a toy with you and see if they want to play with that toy with you. Keep your hands to yourself. Personal space is a huge word that I use every day in kindergarten and at home it can be hard to practice that when you are with family or people that they're close with. So I would recommend talking about how there's a space bubble around them and that they stay in their bubble and that somebody might be next to them, but you wanna keep your hands in your lap to yourself. Somebody's close to me there, but they're also doing the same thing that I am as well. Your child can work on learning about personal space by making asking for permission before giving hugs um, or high fives and encouraging them to do that. Good morning, Harlow. Good morning, Jane. At home, families can practice asking questions and practicing conversation skills of taking turns by having their child share news, something that happened that day, and having the caretaker ask a question or asking for more information. Especially when reading stories, maybe stopping mid-story and being like, I wonder what happens, I wonder what happens next, and seeing if they can give some ideas and then reading it and seeing if their ideas match. Even in real life situations, whether they're with their grandparents or whether it's the cashier at the store, that if they say, hi, how are you, that they learn to answer themselves and that the parents aren't answering for them. I think the thing with, with five-year-olds is that they're always curious. I think parents who are curious about learning tend to have kids who are curious about learning, so I think modeling that with the kids. So the more the parents are learning and showing that, the more the kids will have it as well. If you are at the zoo or you're out at some place, you know, a museum, some place that you, are, you yourself are always asking questions like, wow, I wonder what that is, so that they start to think about those things and ask those questions too. If your child is interested in something that you're not quite sure of or you don't know a lot about, I would recommend always looking up information, looking online and saying sometimes, I don't always know the answer and I have to look in a book or look online or try to learn more as well. We have words that start with S. To learn uppercase and lowercase letters and sounds, they could go on letter hunts around stores or around their house and find different letters that they're working on. And you can always start with their name because that's very helpful for coming into kindergarten is knowing how to write your name and the letters in your name. We like to do a little chant where we'll go A, A, Apple, B, B, Ball and being able to know all those sounds and look at the letter while they are learning the sounds as well. Kindergarten readiness is really a lot more than just knowing their letters, sounds, shapes, and numbers. It's being able to follow directions and follow a routine, knowing social skills, being independent. There's no child who doesn't need any help, so it's okay if they're not quite ready for everything. The best we can do is just give them those little skills that they can have to make things a little bit better, and then have trust and faith that the teachers in the school will take it from there and be very helpful with them. Mainly we want them to make friends, we want them to feel good about themselves. 
and feel comfortable here that they're excited to come here every day. The most important thing to know is that here at Lakeville Area Schools, we're ready. And we can't wait to welcome your child to kindergarten.